Sheltering in place is a great emergency plan until the power lines go down near the childcare, creating a safety emergency. Having a relocation site is great, but you really should have two. One in the immediate area that you could quickly relocate to should the danger be local to your building, and one outside of the immediate area should the danger be more widespread. It's not unreasonable to have more, either. Once you've chosen your relocation sites, it's important that you create agreements with the sites. There should be predetermined parameters that let you know that, under certain conditions, they should expect your arrival, in case communication is down. There should also be shared protocols in the agreements that everyone is aware of and has practiced, reducing confusion in a chaotic situation. There are many things to consider when creating your plan. Do you know how you will get to your relocation spot? What if vehicles aren't an option? Do you have portable cribs? Is the location close enough for little ones to walk? Your posted floor plan should have an evacuation assembly area clearly marked so that everyone can easily see it. Do you have transportation planned if you're relocating out of the neighborhood? If so, have parents signed a permission form for transport during an evacuation? You can even have pre-packed bags set aside, as long as they are checked and updated regularly, preferably every month as regular work maintenance. You should have checklists in place to assign certain duties to certain employees, or to multiple employees if work shifts vary. Who is in charge of transportation? Supplies. Emergency contacts. Once you have all of these things in place in your emergency plan, it's very important to practice emergency drills periodically, but certainly as state licensing rules require. That way, there's no confusion when an emergency actually happens as to who is responsible for what or how things will be carried out. The employees will be proficient at what needs to be done, and children will know what to expect and will feel less frightened and stressed during a real emergency. When writing a plan, keep in mind that emergency personnel are usually very willing to be of assistance and often have excellent ideas for improving the speed and efficiency of your evacuation. And to avoid any mistakes or confusion, make sure families know to meet at the relocation spot to collect their children.